If you've been trying to install the latest Windows 11 feature update, version 26220.7344, and you keep seeing the message, we couldn't install this update, you're not alone. This specific build is failing for a huge number of users due to broken update components, corrupt cache, and sometimes even a single hidden driver conflict. But don't worry, in this video, I'll show you how to fix it completely, step by step, without reinstalling Windows. By the end, that update will install successfully guaranteed. Let's start by making sure your system is actually ready to accept it. 1. Restart the Windows Update Services First, we will restart some background services that may have crashed silently. Press the Windows key and are together to open the Run dialog. Type services.msc and press Enter. A new window will open. Scroll down and find these three services. 1. Windows Update Two, Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Three, Cryptographic Services. Right-click on each one and choose Restart. If any of them are already stopped, right-click and choose Start. Close the services window and check if the update page now loads properly. If not, move to the next fix. Two, Clear Windows Update Cache. Sometimes, old or corrupted files in the update folder cause this issue. Let us clear them. Search for Command Prompt. Right-click and choose Run as Administrator. Now type these commands one by one. I will go slow. Type Netstop Wazerf. Netstop Bits. Netstop CRWipe TSVC. This stops the update-related services. Now delete the cached files with this command. Dell slash S slash Q percent winder percent backslash software distribution backslash download. After this, restart the services. Net start Wazerf. Net start bits. Net start CRWipe TSC. Close the command prompt and try to open Windows Update again. Still stuck? Let us dig deeper. 3. Run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Open Settings. Go to System. Then Troubleshoot. Now click on Other Troubleshooters. Find Windows Update and click Run. Let Windows scan and fix any known problems with the update module. This process takes a minute or two. If it finds and fixes something, restart your PC before checking again. 4. Use SFC and DSM to fix corrupt system files. If the issue is coming from damaged Windows files, this step can help. Open Command Prompt as Administrator again. Now type SFC slash scan now. This scan may take 5 to 10 minutes. Once finished, run this command next. DSM slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. This will repair your system image using official files. Once done, restart your PC. Now check Windows Update. Is it working? If yes, congratulations. If not, we have one final method. 5. Reset Windows Update Components Manually. This is the strongest fix. Open PowerShell as administrator. Paste and run this full reset command. Copy past it from description. This resets all update-related files and services. After this, restart your system and go back to Settings and Windows Update. Performance Boost Tip Once you've successfully updated, open Command Prompt as Admin and Run. Cleamger slash Sage Set 1. Cleamger slash Sage Run 1. This cleans leftover update and temp files, freeing up space and improving Windows responsiveness after the update. And that's it, your feature update. 26,220.7344 should now install cleanly. If one of these methods helped you, let me know in the comments. And if it saved you from a reinstall or hours of frustration, please consider subscribing for more simple and real tech fixes. I post honest, working solutions for gaming errors, Windows issues, and performance tips, all tested and explained in simple steps. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Life is a chase, I don't wanna place, I wanna be first Work till it hurts, dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse oh. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far It's like you lived a few lives